Welcome, I'm Alexav and in today's video I'm going to talk about container controllers, what they are, how to set them up and why they are useful to use on a base or a ship. The first question, what's a container controller? It's a cargo box where you can store everything that exists on the game, weapons, tools, food, water, blocks, whatever you want and they have a capacity of 8000. So what's the difference between a container controller and a normal box? It's the capacity, because these three on my left hand side have fixed capacity. This one is an example of just below 4000. This one is an example of 8. And this one is an example of the max box in terms of capacity we can use, which only has 16000. These boxes will not change its capacity, even if you just attach another box to it. Unlike the container controller, because even though it starts with 8000, you can increase its capacity using the extensions up to a max of 320,000. For a base you have these two options, the container controller and the container controller for ammo. This one does the same thing, but it also works as an ammo box. And also, it starts with 8000 and can go up to 320,000. So, on a base we can use 39 container extensions, but they will only work with one container controller that it is physically touching. I can't place it in between the two boxes because the game doesn't know which one it will like to access. So it can only be touching one of them. It has 8000. Once I add on a container extension, it adds an extra 8000. So now I have 16. If I add the extension here, it didn't change because on a diagonal it doesn't work. It has to be face to face whichever the side it is, but it has to be physically touching the container controller that you would like to increase the capacity of. So these are the container controllers that you can use on a base, but you can also use a container controller on ships. I have an example of a hover vessel here that you can use these three options of container controllers. This is a small vessel and this is a capital vessel. The same rules apply for ships that it does for base. Each one of the container controllers have a, has a certain capacity and you can increase it with extensions that you cannot use for two boxes. It has to be connected with only one box. So one tip that you can do on a ship is, for example, you can have more than one container controller. You can have these three or even more, but you're going to have to separate the extensions and you can just place like generators in between or just normal blocks but be aware that the game will not allow you to connect extensions that are connected to two boxes each one of the extensions will only work with one of them so for example now i have 500 and this one too the same rule applies in terms of the placement for example this one has 500 if i place it here it's still 500 on the diagonal it doesn't work it has to be face to face so why do I have this third option, container controller or in wood for a ship? It does not exist for a base because it's required to use drills or grinders that we can harvest trees with. If you don't have this box, the drills will not have anywhere to place the contents that they harvest. So if you want to have drills on a ship, you're going to need one of these container controllers or in wood. You can store everything you want inside it, tools, ammo, weapons, food, whatever you want. They work just as much as the normal container controller, but it is required in case you want to use drills or grinders for trees. The same thing happens with the container controller for ammo. It does exactly the same thing as the normal container controller. You can store anything you want inside it. But on a ship like this, if you want to have turrets, you're gonna have to have a box with the ammo that will turrets will access and that's why the container controller for ammo becomes useful because the turrets will look for the container controller to look for ammo if you don't have this box you will not be able to use the turrets because they will not access the harvesting container controller they will not access the normal container controller to look for ammo you can also use an ammo box as you do on a base, but the ammo box, that green one, has a fixed capacity of 14,000. That's why this one becomes very useful, because for the amount of turrets that I have here on this ship, as an example, 
it's very useful to have a container controller with 320,000 volume. Another thing to keep in mind is that you're not obligated to increase its capacity. You can use the container controller as it is with the small capacity that it has. You can add as much container controllers to a ship or a base as you'd like in case you have room for it and in case the CPU allows. For example, on a hover vessel I can have a container controller go up to 32,000 but on this one I only have just above 7,000. I just didn't have enough room to add more. On this one I have a harvesting container controller with below 27,000 and in a small vessel or hover we can go up to 32,000. So as you can see you're not obligated to increase it, it's just an option that you have. Also in a capital vessel I have for example here this one has max capacity, but for example, I have other ones that don't have max capacity. So you just have to adjust to the room and the necessities that you have. And be mindful that you can use the container controller for ammo or this brown one as the same as you can use this one. But in case you want to have weapons on a ship or a base, you need the ammo container controller to store the ammo for it. In case you want to have drills or grinders for trees on a small hover vessel or even on a capital vessel, you're going to need this one for ore and wood because that's where they're going to store the ore or the logs. So that's how you use container controllers and why they're useful. It's basically a matter of increasing the capacity that you have to store stuff. In the next video, I'll cover a new topic. But for now, thank you for watching and until next time.